Roger Maloney. I always remember being a, a kid, two years of age, running around as lot. So it's always been in the blood. Um, it was, when I started getting my first pigeons, I think myself was in 1986. I got my first pigeons. And 1988 was the, the first year we started racing and we were very lucky to win. That year we actually won Penzance in the young board race with a, a pure white cock. But it doesn't happen, that doesn't happen too often. So you're kind of spoiled that we got a win here first year. And I was in and out of the pigeons then um, for a number of years. And then we started racing seriously probably for the first time in 1997. Went out, bought some really good pigeons and started racing them. And we had some bush arts from Tommy Moore House. They were excellent pigeons. And we did a fair bit of success with them. And we raced up until 2001. And the last race we raced, we are lucky enough um, to win the Talbany Youngboard, uh, first club, first section, fourth open. There was only five pigeons home on the day. That was my last race I raced in 2001. And I've been out of the pigeons um, from that time until we got back into them in 2013 we started building the loft to get back into them. And um, enjoying the racing, it has its ups and downs, but at the moment we're, we're enjoying the racing and hopefully now things will get better. Year on year we're after improving, so hopefully this year will, will be another good year. Um, these are the Willowhood Cocks for this year's racing. Um, this cock here, he, he had five races, he has um, the first club and the second club, he was um, six fed and twenty fourth fed, uh, I think he's going to be a real nice cock uh, for this year. How old is he? He's, he's, he's the only, he was only a baby this year, he'd be a, he'd be a yearling now racing in 2017. Um, he's, from a Davy Hutchinson Susan cross with a Van Dyke Koopman pigeon uh, from a friend of mine in, in England sent us the, 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 the mother, the father, sorry. So, looking forward now to racing him this year. This one? Uh, this is Susan Cock. Um, his father was a grandson of Herbos 155. Um, I think he has about He's eight brothers that have 16 force feds um, between them. I think this is really going to be a, a really good cock this year. It's a lovely blue pirate pigeon and he has a great eye as well. Fantastic eye on him. So hopefully he'll be one for this year as well. He, he, he's only a, he'll only be a yearling as well racing this year. He's a real strong back in him. And he's just coming up there in the last flight. He's another one now I'm looking forward to racing this year. Very intelligent pigeon too. This one, John? Yeah. Uh, this blue player cock, he's um, a full brother to the pigeon that was best channel pigeon in the club this year and, and best yearling on the channel in the club. And was only beaten by a few points from being the best pigeon in the fed. Um, I had a half sister win for me this year as well, uh, this cock. Uh, they come down from Jerry O'Mara's pigeons. Um, this cock himself, he has a far club, uh, 38 fed, nine and a half thousand pigeons. He's a really, really nice pigeon. He's another brother as well, who was clocked twice out of Penzance and well up in the opens. They're a nice family of pigeons now. I have a good few of these. And I actually got a loan of the grandfather of this pigeon off. Robbie Daly, he's downstairs in the stock loft. He's an 07 pigeon, so I'm looking forward now to mainly working on this line of pigeons. Because they'll, they'll, they'll win up the land and they will win across the water. This cock Eddie is a, he's a Truman cock. Truman cock. Um, he's a two year old pigeon. He's been five times across the water this year. Uh, 
he's a really really nice cock um, his main aim now for this year for him is hopefully France he, he, he'd probably be the only pigeon that will go to France providing he's still here um, there's not many yearlings for five times across the water this year you know and looking forward to this fella One of them had been four section of a view for me and um, I'd left it national. Another hen, she was second section out of that field race as well, 12th national. Another pigeon was three times across the water. Um, she was second club, tour club, four club. And there was another cock, I think he had two or three races on the water. Sent the four, had them paired up in two sections. I had that divided into two sections. Had them down on eggs, everything was going fucking great. Sent them never seen and I just says, what the fuck does it take to get the pigeons out of there? France, you know, I've never done it, but I really think that that cock, I think he'll do it now this year, you know. What have we got here, John? These are another team of Widowhood Cocks, Eddie. Um, these are all yearlings, all yearling pigeons. Um, took a few positions with them as, as young boards. They only had five races. Uh, the most of them had five races this year, so... They'd be really relatively inexperienced pigeons, but hopefully now there's, there's a few decent ones in it. They, they, they were all well bred. Most of them would be down off the Jerry O'Mara pigeons. So um, I'm hoping that these pigeons can maybe win a race or two for me. Are we charm? What type of mix have you got the boards on this time, Miguel? Well, this time of the year, uh, you know. The moat is over, they're probably pushing up on the last flight, so you know you can cut back a little bit on the nutrition end of it. So what we feed here, it's a mix of a couple now, just this is a natural finesse mix. Um there's, it's actually it's a very good mix. There's, there's, there's plenty in it. You know, proteins, carbs, a lot of dairy. Moily, so we would give one of them, and again, uh, this is barley. So basically, 33% barley, 33% finesse, and then this is um, a mix that was left after the. The moat was basically over. We we mixed everything, so it's majority would be best all around and uh, molten mix from Van Roo Base. Uh, get that out, Sandy Hill stud. And it's basically 33% of them three. You know, you just lighten it up a little bit. You don't need it. You just keep an eye on our way. You know, we give them about an ounce and a quarter of that a day to each pigeon and they're doing very well and the droppings are good and they're keeping themselves good and healthy and fit. No, 
Oh, they leave. Oh, that's not. Yeah, they leave. They leave all that there now and there. You don't get no more of it. He'll always leave the party to last. Yeah, they're not too fond, but there's not really much in it, you know? It's not, it's not, it's not tasty, you know what I mean? It's, it's probably very bland and boring to them. But it's a great energy field, you know? To keep the heat in their body, it's a great field for that, you know? Yeah. Would you feed them peanuts on your rice? No, I don't give peanuts. Um, if they're going to the channel, or maybe the last week, I'll give them a couple of peanuts. Only the pigeons that's going to the channel. You know. Pigeons are very, uh, peanuts are very fat and like, very fat. And uh, be very careful, race and sprint race. Be very careful, you know, you don't want to get them fat and soy either, you know. Start training, though. Um, or it could be maybe three, three weeks before the first race. You know, we can start the training. When we going to start to pair up? Um, I'd say it's it's looking now. It'll be sometime around the, maybe the tenth, around the tenth to the twelfth of January. We we pair them up. How many rounds would you be? All these. Uh, I'll actually I'll, I'll be breeding off most of the race team this year, simply because they're they're all very well bred pigeons. So these will probably all breed one youngster each, and um, one young bird, and the stock will breed uh, two rounds off the stock pigeons. What's called your race owner? Uh, I'm in the Cabra Club. Uh, we 44 members, the Cabra Club is a very strong club, and um, some great pigeon fanciers up there, so the competition is always hard, and when you get a card, you know you've earned it, you know, whether it be forced or tent, you know, it's it's always good just to get into the result in Cabra, it's a very, very competitive club. Right, John, what cores are these? These are uh, the stock cocks for this year, Eddie. Uh, basically, they're all new pigeons to me, so we don't really know very much about them. There is a couple of pigeons here which we would know about, um, but very few. They're all new pigeons, mostly Herm and Seuss pigeons. Blue player there is a young cock, Jerry O'Mara sent me over this year. He's a Boshwood pigeon. The checker cock here. He's the grandfather of the pigeon that top the fed for me. Um, I got along with him off Robbie Daly for this year. I have sons and daughters um, from the pigeon that topped the fed, so that cock there will be going to the daughters. The, the majority of them are Herman Seussers. Uh, these are all the widowhood hens, Eddie, and the stock hens. Tell us a bit about your stock course. Um, well, 
be honest with you, Eddie, this year now they're all new stock pigeons. Uh, the majority are new stock pigeons. Um, mostly ham and Seusters we've took in this year to try. And also some of um, the late Kevin's O'Brien's pigeons we have in. Uh, we've got a few pigeons down from Team Leader that we purchased unfortunately from the the late Mark Bourne who, who died this year. Mark was after buying the best of Kevin's as pigeons. So we bought a few uh, sons of Team Leader and we have a few grandchildren of Team Leader as well, paired to a very good hen at Jerry O'Maris, who was the she was the best the mother was the best pigeon in the the Fed in 2009 and Mark purchased her. So we paired her to the Team Leader and, and we have the, the sons and daughters here. So looking forward to racing them. As long as uh, we have a couple of others as well that we we picked up. Um, Alan Devlin, a friend of mine from England, was very decent to us. He sent us over six lovely pigeons, um, three cocks and three hens. So we're looking forward to racing them as well. I see you feed them on the floor as well, John. Why do you do that? Um, I always throw down a, a bit of fuel on the floor just to see any, you know, leaving one particular grain. You know, it's just something I've always done. But, you know, it's nice to see them just grab an ant that's in front of them, you know. But when, when they are overweight or there could be too much bed, you will notice the the first stool they leave is the barley. You know, and when you see them leaving the, the bit of barley, or getting choosy with it, it's time to stop feeding them. This is a uh, Gloria, we call her. She's a Sylvian pigeon. She's a, a real survivor. She, she's been twice hawked this year. Two broken legs, ripped from head to toe, both times. And she's just turned into a little old pet. Uh, she's a really well-bred pigeon, and she is a fine pigeon in the hand, so I think she's going to make a really good stop then. Again. She'll never race again, no. no. She's, she's actually too much of a pet now, to be honest with you. Watch Eddie again. If you have ten pigeons in a section and when you when you're feeding them, allow one pigeon to go to the drinker for every ten. And so if you have twenty pigeons and two pigeons take a drink, it's time to stop them. Stop feeding the pigeons. So you know you can normally feed but you know nearly fifty pigeons here. So I watch for five of them go to the drinker. Five pigeons then go to the drinker. Trying to stop them. They have enough. You don't want to be overfeeding pigeons, particularly this time of the year. And especially with hens when you're going to be paired them, you don't want to carry in any fat that's going to delay them. Laying that. There's a very good hen there, Eddie. The slate toy ahead. She won this year. She's second towards. She won out Pilmore this year. And then I stuck her into the last Penzance. And I think she was seventh club as well. But she's loads and loads of positions. She's a great little hen, she is. That's it, and you can see there now, there's either been five or six have a drink there, so we call her a day now, paid enough. 